Hey everybody, welcome back to onlineenglishteacher.com and easy learning, right? I am your host, Teacher Michael, and today we're going to be learning about prepositions. So what are prepositions? So prepositions are words that tell us how they impact other words, right? So there's usually a relationship between words and words, right? So that's what prepositions do. But the number one thing that's confusing about prepositions, and let me show you on my screen, is that there's many types of prepositions, right? There's so many types of prepositions. It's crazy, right? We have preposition of time, preposition of place, and preposition of direction, also known as preposition of movement. And in today's class, we're going to be studying and learning about preposition of movement, right? This is what we're going to be learning today. And of course, there's also uh, three other prepositions that are not very popular, right? We don't use them very often as much as time, place, direction, also, or movement, right? <laughs> Remember, movement and direction are the same. They are the same, right? But agent, instrument, and phrases, <laughs> we don't really use that much, right? Well, phrases we do, but instrument and agent, not so much, right? But with regards to typical normal prepositions, we're going to be using time, place, and direction. But today's lesson, today's lesson will only be about movement and direction, only about movement and direction. In the next classes, uh, I will do about time and place, okay? So let's get into it right away. So <clears throat> the best way to understand preposition is by looking at pictures, right? Because prepositions, especially with preposition of movement, uh, like I said, it's talking about how it impacts something, right? In this case, we're impacting direction or movement, right? For example, number one, what's going on in number one? We have a ball right here going over here down onto the box, right? What's going on there, right? The ball is going onto, oh, let me change this, onto, the ball went onto the box, right? Onto the box. Hold on, yeah, there we go. It's going onto the box. Hold on, let me move some stuff. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go on to number two. What's going on in number two, right? Number two, it looks like the ball is going out of the box, right? It's leaving the box, right? So we can say it's going out of, right? Out of, right? Going out of the box. What about number three? Number three, number three can be kind of confusing, right? We have to understand that this is one point, right? And this is going to another place, right? So this would be, hold on. Oops, it's going in here. Give me a second. Uh, okay. So this would be from, right? When we talk about from, we're talking about two locations, right? Let's say, for example, I went to Pereira from Bogota, right? These are countries or actually cities in Colombia, right? <clears throat> and I'm talking about I went from one place to another place. I went to the supermarket from my house, right? We're going from one place to another place, right? So we're going from this box to another place. <clears throat> okay. Let's go with number four. Number four. What's number? What's going on to number four? We're going from one box to another box, right? To number four. Maybe this would be a cross, like we're crossing the street. A cross, right? Then what about number five? Number five. This is interesting. <clears throat> we have one objects. We have two object, and we have object number three, right? Which is you, right? <clears throat> and you are going between one and two objects, right? So the correct answer for this would be between because 
there are two objects or even multiple objects in between you. So between, right? Between, okay. All right, and what about number six? What's going on in number six? Number six is pretty easy, right? You have a ball and you're putting it in, into another place. So into, into, you're putting it into a box. The ball goes into the box. <clears throat> All right, what about seven? Seven seems almost, a lot of students get this confused because they may think, well, this could be through, across, right? Well, this is two, right? Two, right? So you're at one location and you're going to another location or another place, right? So I'm going to my house. I'm going to my house, right? To my house. <clears throat> number eight, number eight is off, right? The ball was on top of, and the ball was on top of the box, but now it's going off the box, right? It's right here, then it gets off. Okay. Number, number nine, through, through, right? The ball is going through the circle. The ball is going through the circle, right? The ball is going through the circle. Very good. Okay. So these are these are some prepositions of movement, right? These, let's say these, hold on. These are some prepositions of movement, right? These are some of them. I would say half of them, right? So half the popular ones, right? Okay, let's go on to the next prepositions. Okay, what's going on here? We have the word along, around, away from, down, over, past, towards, under, right? So what is number one? What's going on in number one? Mm -hmm. What's going on in number one? Oops. Number one would be towards, right? It's kind of like two, but towards is like, you're going to a specific direction, right? You're going to a specific place, towards. Like I'm going towards the moon, right? We only have one moon on, I guess, around our planet, right? That's a very specific place. I'm going to my grandma's house, right? That's only one location. I'm going towards my grandma's house, right? It's usually a general area. Okay. Number two, under, 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 right? We're going under, right? We have the box right here. And under the box is a ball, right? What about number three? Number three. What about number three? Uh, down, 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 right? Going down the stairs, right? Going down the hill. Very good. Number four, around, around, right? We're going around the building. We're going around the box. Number five, uh, this would be uh, along. Oh, past, past. This is past, right? I'm... Actually, well, hold on, let me see. Number five would be, oh, along, along, sorry about that, along. We'll save that for later, along. Right, because I couldn't see along. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, along, along. And then number six, uh, six, away from. It almost looks the same as uh, from, but this is away from, right? I'm getting away from my house. I'm getting away from this place, Wait, away from. Okay, what about number seven? Number seven, we have looked at number three. The ball is going down. What's happening in number seven? 
<laughs> the ball is going up, right? Up. Up. Right? Oops. There you go. Up. And then number eight would be passed, right? We're passing the building, right? We're passing the building, right? What about number nine? It looks almost similar to number four, but it's not. We're going over the box. Over, right? Going over the box, right? Very good. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. So this lesson is mostly just to teach you or remind you about preposition of movements, right? And how we can use these prepositions, right? So something that I want you guys to do in the chat, right, is to make your own sentences with these prepositions, right? We have these prepositions, remember, let's take a look at these. Towards, under, down, around, along, away from, up, past, and then over. And then we have these prepositions as well, which are onto, out of, from, across, between, into, to, ah, and through. Okay, so if you guys have any questions about prepositions, right, this is preposition of movement, right, that we talked about here before, right? If you have any more questions about preposition of movement and how to use them in a sentence, right, then I'll definitely cover that in the next class, okay? But until then, have fun, everybody, be safe, and have a good day. Bye-bye.